This is the grill to the 1951. We made a couple of modifications to it, and uh, I wanted it to look different, so that's why it's, it's set up like this. It's going to be a while before I get that on, but let's do a walk around video here of this truck. <clears throat> It's a 1951 International powered by an all-wheel drive Hemi Dodge automatic transmission, um, independent front suspension, four-link rear, and inside we did uh, a little bit of modifications to the inside. <clears throat> windows are in. I uh, haven't cleaned them. That's original patina there on that. Um, but when you put it together, it's not bad. You know, it's comfortable in there. We used some of the stock donor vehicle and some other things salvaged from a junkyard. All in all, this one's way better than the first two uh, trucks that I did. approaching the middle end of September and uh, I don't know how many more of these I can get done before the snow flies. I'd like to do at least one more but for now let's take a look at the motor. I was able to get the battery compartment up in the front of the vehicle where it goes. Um, I don't have my firewall insulation on yet, but the vent works. It goes in, it's fresh air inside. There'll be a seal that goes around it. Over here, I have the fuse boxes this time. You're able to get in and out of these, whereas last time they were just kind of like wired in. Um, all of this works. The air conditioning is going to work on this one. We have all the parts. I still have to do the front shocks and touch up uh, the front do the grill mounting and obviously the fenders and then um, we're not sure what we're going to do with the finish on this one I think I may actually paint this truck I'm not sure yet I'm not 100% sure but it will not be a nice fancy paint job I can tell you that um, it'll probably be a mix of rust and flat colors but there you have it that's the 51 that's where we're at more to come